Well, November is the time of year where people give a lot of thanks, and Johnny Appleseed Metro Park District thankful for their 50 years. Joining me today, we've got the Executive Director Tyler Black to look back on this past year we've been celebrating, and there's lots of things ahead, too, so thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks for having me. Okay, so, you know, you guys have been planning all kinds of special stuff to celebrate the 50-year anniversary, and I think you've done a good job. A lot of variety of things that you guys have been able to do. Well, thank you. It definitely comes from the community support. Uh, this year was, uh, it seemed like it flew by, you know, it just went really quick, but uh, we had a lot of great things this year that we're thankful for, thankful for the community support and coming out uh, in June for our, our big celebration uh, on that Saturday in June, and then that was kind of bookended uh, by a few things in the spring where we had a conservation initiative at the Arboretum. Uh, some really great programming in the spring, it's always a great time to do outside mm -hmm. programs, and then uh, this fall, we were able to, to finally do Apple Festival again after a, a break from COVID. And at a new location, exactly. too, that seemed to work yeah. out great. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome, and, and we had a great turnout for that. Uh, and then we had our walking through autumn, which always brings people out on mm -hmm. Saturday mornings, and then um, kind of wrapping everything up with Meet the Wild, which was cool to see a lot of families come out to Teddy oh, Bear Park. Cool. and get to go on a little hike so mm -hmm. a lots of year. different events and it's not like you're gonna stop because I right. mean you guys are always doing things throughout exactly. the year yeah that's the great thing about this is we you know we had our 50th anniversary here but that doesn't mean if even if you miss some of that stuff that doesn't mean that we're not still here we're you know we're only open 365 days a year so <laughs> exactly and yeah. even when the weather's getting cold still go to the parks and stuff exactly. like that yeah exactly yep. but you guys do have to plan I mean these things do. just don't happen for the park district so exactly. you're coming up on 2023 yep. where you guys got planning to do we do yeah so in the spring of 23 we'll actually uh, planning to be on the ballot uh, with two renewal levies um, and so with that comes a lot of planning a lot of uh, community engagement uh, through surveys and that kind of thing. So we're, we're working through getting that survey put together. Uh, people will start seeing that here towards the end of this year. Uh, and then that'll really help catapult us into next year with some ideas that the public wants to see. So. Now you talk about a survey. It's going to be by the phone, yeah. right? So if you get that call, be serious yeah. about it, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> it, it'll take a few minutes, but uh, it, it really does help in planning for the park district. Uh, it really gives us a good idea as to what people want to see. Do they want to see more playgrounds? Do they want to see updates to things? Do they want to see more parks? What, what do they want to see? So uh, we're just excited to, the opportunity for them to, to be able to give us feedback. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, because sometimes people are leery about getting calls yeah. now. Yeah. So, you know, take yep. that call and help out with that survey. So you'll compile it all together and then you hear about companies and places doing strategic plans and you yeah. guys are no different, huh? Exactly, right. So. We'll be working through the strategic plan uh, through the end of this year into next year. That kind of entails a lot of different things. You know, we have different facilities within the park district. We have different departments within the park district, things that we have to think through uh, into the future to, to just really help the park district continue to succeed. And again, it comes from community support. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, because I mean, uh, through the anniversary, you've heard about all the different parks yeah. and the different departments and stuff. So like, do you just build on what you add to these parks or do you guys look to buy more land and add more parks or is yeah. this just all kind of the whole planning process? From what we've heard from a lot of people, they really want us to take care of the things that we have. And I think a lot of people that work for us agree Agree with that that sentiment uh, so there's a lot of shelter houses that have been around for a long time that need just some upkeep and, and some basically renewal uh, of a look mm -hmm. and then also uh, just adding to some of the programmings that we do uh, out in the community for schools uh, the senior centers uh, those kind of things are, are really important so, yeah because you guys have got a great staff of naturalists that do. go out there yeah. and they're just so much fun and they're yep. so engaging yep yeah they're great they're great employees so. yeah exactly all right so when we hear throughout the the end of this year and into next year about you guys doing this planning we just kind of know that you guys are yeah. thinking about what we want and if you don't get the phone call can we call the office and say hey totally. you know what i've got an idea every, every day every day <laughs> that line is open so we're, we're wanting your feedback uh you'll probably see a strategic plan come out towards the end of the of the winter um, and it'll be available online. You can pick up a copy at the office. Mm -hmm. um, there's, there's plenty of ways to get it. All right, so. very good. Always in the parks. They're always open, as you said. They Thanks are. for coming today. Yeah. Thanks for having me. All right, don't go away. We'll take a look at the weather forecast next.